What I, what I learned too, I learned this. First of all, check this out. Once you learn the game like we're talking about, you have to, so many things you got to pay attention to. The, 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 the casinos will change dealers on you. If the casinos see you winning a lot of money, they will change dealers. Now, most of the time, maybe every hour or so, it might be somebody come relieve the main croupier, the main spinner, to give her a 15, 20-minute break. But when you're winning three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000, 7000 they might change every every 15 minutes of the new spinner at the table because they're trying to get back their winnings you got. So you got to have enough sense to, A, lower your bet, Yeah, lower your bet. If you if you're up four or five thousand, don't be go. They change the spinners. You don't know how they're gonna spin the ball. So lower your bet. You still can play. Lower your bet. And if guess what, my thing is, if if they got a new spin, a new dealer, if I can't catch nothing, if I'm playing numbers, if I can't catch nothing in four spins, I'm gone. Oh no, for me it's two spins. Two spins. I give them four. If I'm playing, if I'm playing light. If, if I don't catch nothing, if I'm not catching, I sit out. Yeah. Because at that point, I need to re-strategize and see, okay, what am I missing? Yeah. Because if I keep on betting, then I'm trying, I'm hoping to right. get lucky. At right. that point, it's no longer, I'm no longer working. Right. Right. So, You're not using your skills. You got to use your skills. Exactly. Yeah. All right. And, or something's wrong with my skills. And the other thing is, when I'm playing, I don't drink. Because I used to hey, drink I a spoke, lot. Hey, I spoke on that. You spoke on that? I spoke yeah. on that already. I don't and, drink. I want to I, 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 I say that again. Mm -hmm. What's the word I'm looking for? Which one? When you say repeat I want to repeat it. Uh -huh. I want to say it again. Yeah. Uh, reiterate. Yeah, re re reiterate. Re reiterate. Yeah, reiterate. Yeah. This ain't a game. Look here. Look here. All that he 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 ha 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 ha. You know what I'm saying? Look here. If you're trying to be a serious gambler, if you're trying to be a professional, I'm talking about you can make enough money off gambling where you can feed your family well and feed yourself well. Ain't got shit to do with any business you got. Ain't got shit to do with any career. If you a doctor, lawyer. Ain't got nothing to do with none of that. You got your own co company, as y'all know. Yeah, it's the Real to Real Network. You know I got that. Y'all know I got all the clothing and oil company. That's my other businesses, right? But gambling is another business. This is serious. I come in here to win. This ain't no hee hee ha ha. Look here, I come in with no three. Friends on the table. Look, ain't no friends. The dealer ain't your friend either. Now I do say tip the dealer if you're winning. If, if they're paying attention if, to your yeah, request, right. Tip them. Right. Yes. Right. If you're sitting there saying, look, I'm trying to hit this section. I see where you at. Bring the section back and they bring the numbers. Then you got to give them something. You got you to gotta spread, spread the wealth. A lot of them don't make a lot of money. They make right. $5. Well, most of them making it off tips. Yeah. So if, if, if you got a good spinner and they, they hitting your numbers, then yeah, you got to go ahead and tip them decent. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to say this again. This ain't a game, yo. I want y'all to, uh, when you come gamble and when you really learn in the game, whether it's roulette. Y'all know I play roulette in the back rack. Whatever your game is. I recommend roulette because roulette, she been good to me. I recommend back rack. And, and Peter, all Peter plays is, is, is roulette. Know your game. And when you know your game, come in with a game face, man. This shit just like goddamn my boy Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, game game this is like my boy game Floyd game. Mayweather. You know, he trained for a fight. He coming in there, he getting 20, 30 million. It's the same shit. This shit just like your job, yo, you go to. But it's most serious because you're trying to learn a skill where you can eat off this shit. God forbid you lose that job. I want to run that past you again. If you wake up tomorrow and they laying off at your job and it's been so many brothers and sisters of all creeds and all colors been affected by this goddamn uh, layoffs and, and, and losing their jobs and especially when COVID hit. COVID fucked up so much stuff. The country and the world is still trying to recuperate from 2019 to 2020 when COVID hit hard. You know what I'm saying? They closed the casinos down in 2020. I knew, I said... This COVID shit is real. Yeah. So what I'm saying, y'all, we're trying to, we're dropping Jews on you. We want you to take it serious. Have fun as you learn the game, but be serious when you come to gamble. This is your hard earned money. You know what I'm saying? And we want you to be in a position like, uh, like me and Peter, where most of the time you're coming out a winner. So. Right now, a lot of people in the casino right now. Yeah. A lot of folks right now, they'll be itching to go play right now. Yeah. All right. Well, you're not itching to play. You're just trying to get that dopamine fix. And that <laughs> dopamine fix is not going to help you make money. Hell no. Yeah. You need to come with a sober mind knowing that you're not trying to get excitement. You're not trying to get have fun. You're trying to make money. 
Right. If you're trying to have fun, it's okay to have fun. Come with a very, very small budget and say, hey, look, I'm going to come have fun. I'm going to spend $200. At that point, you're doing your minimum, absolute minimum bets. And with absolute minimum bets, you will get a long time before they take all the money back. Exactly. But you will have had a good time. Right. If you're here to make money, forget the drinks, forget the fun, no chit chat, no all this. And that's what I was saying, I want to reiterate again. Focus. Which I didn't do a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Do not drink when you gamble. Never. After Never you drink. after you make your money, that's when you go. Go party. Look, go party yeah. after you make your go money. Celebrate your money. As a matter of fact, yeah. cash out. I'm gonna say it like this: After you make your money, cash out. If you're not ready to go home, if you're by yourself, go lock the goddamn money up in your car. I'm serious. If you just made, if you just made fifteen hundred, two thousand, three thousand, whatever the fuck you want. Okay, you came in with two fifty. You walked out with seventeen hundred. I tell you what you do: You take motherfucking sixteen hundred. Lock that after you cash out, lock that shit up in the car, come back, go to the little club bar with 150 to blow. That's it. And leave your motherfucker and leave your and leave your credit cards and all that shit in the car too. Oh, yeah. Never bring your credit cards. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. You know what I'm saying? So so one thing, right? Who's up, brother? If you have a credit card and you come to the casino, yeah. do not go to the cage trying to get that cash advance. Hell no. You will fuck up. Yeah. And it will cost you even more. Yeah. Do yeah. not do that. For one, they tax you like hell to get your own money. Oh, it's a lot of money to get that and money. And then, then usually when you do that, that means you're down too much already. Exactly. Oh, I'm, right. I used to do that. I yeah. remember about 10 years ago, I would get cash advance yeah. from, my, yeah. from my own credit card. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, let me get another 2000 another 3000 Yeah. And then I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. And I would go blow it because I'm getting drunk. I'm trying to right. get bitches and I'm yeah. trying to... You, know, get high you got caught up in the lifestyle. Exactly. The high roller and, lifestyle. And that, you know what I'm that lifestyle is not for making money. The lifestyle is for enjoying. Yeah. So right now, I could do that. I could just sit right here and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go get me. And a, see, now you got money. Hey, now, and, and see, all these years, we, we do, we, you know, getting money. But me and this brother actually just got each other's numbers. So we're going to be in contact. And I told him about the real to real network, about my network. Excuse me, about our network. Because it's 48,000 strong. It ain't just about me. It's about y'all. And again, I. From my heart to y'all's, I appreciate everybody subscribing. I appreciate all the love and support I'm getting. And I started the network 12 and a half months ago. And we will have 100,000 subscribers by September, October this year. And I really appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate you buying my, my clothing line, buying the smell goods, and all that as well. But, and I'm going to come out with a book about roulette. I already told y'all that. I don't wrote a lot of my strategies down and all that. I'm going to be coming out with a book. And, uh, you know, that'll be, give me about three or four months, the book will be out where you can buy it. But I'm going to keep bringing real gamblers on the network like my brother Peter and sharing these Jews, which we want y'all to win. Learn right. from our mistakes. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So the biggest winning day you had was 87000 Yep, on roulette. On roulette. Yep. I made 17785 I did that, oof, that was back 2017. That's the biggest winning day I had. And it took me. It took me like eight hours. My biggest win this year was a week ago. Yeah, I was here for four hours. I made ten thousand dollars. Guess, man. guess from how much? From how much? I, you I only came here to have a good time. I came here with a hundred dollars. Wow. I was even looking to gamble. Wow. But then I saw a nice table. Like, oh, the croupier is paying is doing good. They consistent with the spend. You look, yeah. yeah. You look for that, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh and I, I, I could easily show you. I think I showed you earlier. And mm -hmm. I, I just like, yeah, you know what? Four hundred dollars, yeah. I have a good time. A right. bit. I'm not trying to break the bank. Right. But I'm gonna use my strategies. What I've learned, use that for the next five, ten minutes. And exactly. See what happens? And I paid attention. I let the, the spins go. I didn't try and get excited just because I right. saw what was going on. Right. After a while, I caught on the rhythm, and I realized, okay, the rhythm is good. So right. Let me stop betting. And when you say the rhythm, break it down for my subscribers, though. So when I say the rhythm is, when the croupier is spinning. They are trying to be consistent. They're not keep on exactly. pushing the wheel and slowing it down. And let me and let me reiterate on that. That means we at we at the table, y'all. And I say the I say the uh, I say the West Coast. I'm gonna say the West Coast again is uh, 7 11 17 20 32 uh, 34 uh, 22 5 right 15 3 24 36 1, 36, 1. 30, so 13. so let's say. They just spun the wheel and they hit number 15. Mm -hmm. Right? Then they spun the wheel, they hit number three. Mm -hmm. So 
and, and we're seeing that the spinner or the the, the, the dealer or the Croupier. has a tendency to stay on the same side of the wheel three times in a row. Uh, what am I doing betting 18? Right. That's on the other side of the it's wheel. The other side of the wheel. Right. So what yeah. you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and buy in, right, with your $200 or whatever, and you're going to go ahead and play that whole side. Mm -hmm. Play the whole side that the, that the croupier or spinner is spinning yeah. on. And, right, and that's when you start. When yeah. you start it, because you're getting paid one seventy five uh, uh, totally not for, for every five dollars. Yeah, and right. that's only eighteen numbers. Right. So at that point, you're getting more chips to get the next. You getting your ammo. You're getting your exactly. ammo up. Exactly. You're building up your ammo. Yeah. So like what I did with that hundred is I got I saw the dealer just uh, the crew here did twenty six and then did eleven, and twenty six you got nine, thirty, eleven, seven. Exactly. Right? So exactly. So like okay, twenty six, eleven. I expect it to be 17, 20, 32. Which is all on the same side. Exactly. And I, I call that the West Coast. And that's what I did. And real fact, I call the East Coast, and there's strategies I will be sharing with you in my book. I call the East Coast 12, 8, 19, 31, 33. Okay? You also have, uh, you got the uh, 4, 16, 23, 14, 35, too. And, and learn all on the that numbers. Side. Learn the numbers. Right. You got to memorize close by. Right. 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 So if they're close by, where well, you can split it, like for example, seventeen twenty, right? Right. Seventeen twenty on the wheel that's separated by one number thirty-two. Exactly. So if you want to do a big bet, you could easily split on seventeen twenty and right. have a separate bet on thirty. Now explain it to them, Asa. Also, y'all know that a direct hit is thirty-five to one odds. Yep. Now when you split a number, so meaning say say we play thirteen and fourteen, yeah. they're side by side, and we put we put twenty-five dollars on it. It's seventeen to one. So that means we put $25 on the split. We're betting that 13 or 14 is going to come. So we put the $25 chip down in between the 13 and 14. And sure enough, 14 comes. We just made 425. That's 17 to 1. So a direct hit, if 14 come and we got $25 on it, it's 875, okay? Direct hit 35 to 1. And guess what? That's all we're going to share tonight. <laughs> I'm teaching you guys a little bit at a time. All right? Now remember. It's a lifestyle. And I seen a fine, fine young lady in here earlier. And I, I'm going to put this thing on pause. Because okay. I'm going to give my viewers a little bit of eye candy. <laughs> now look, I'm having fun in here chilling. But I'm, I'm going to give you guys a little eye candy. Because see, this is all part of the lifestyle. But you make your money. After you make your money, then you go party. And the eye candy becomes arm candy. Right. Man, right. Exactly, exactly. But you know, you know, I got uh. I'm just gonna show my my subscribers a little eye candy, show you the nightlife a little bit, huh? It's a good business. Let's, here we go. Come on. <laughs> Trying to get it. Man. I got it. I got it, bro. <laughs> so you know, also, you know, it's always uh, the nightlife. You know what I'm saying? So you you come out, but see, when you're gambling, you can't focus on that. You gotta focus on making.